Uh, you would not believe how hard this hike is. Stegosaurus Ridge, baby. Good morning. Um, it's 6.30 a.m. I'm in uh, a suburb of Taipei and I'm heading out to the uh, northeast coast to do a hike called the Stegosaurus Ridge. The good thing about um, taking the train in Taiwan is that the train system was built by Japanese so the trains are usually always on time unlike where I'm from back in England where they're always not on time. Oh yeah, <laughs> Here at the trailhead which is on the 80 kilometer mark of the uh, coast road and um, there's been some debate about whether this hike is illegal or illegal because there's uh, this site behind me is state-owned land and there's supposed to be lots of toxic chemicals on the ground they don't like you to hike across it and they put signs up saying you'll be fined and etc etc and then um, so somebody else came up with a another entrance which is kind of right there in the background by that big stone but it seems like that's been blocked off now so I don't really know how I'm going to get in but uh, I'm going to have a look right now so I managed the first part of the hike uh, up past the disused site I took the legal path of course and on up to this kind of shelter A quick update. Since returning from Taiwan, I've discovered that there is a new path that avoids the disused site entirely. It's located at the 81.1 km mile marker at Nanya and starts near the New South Temple. So I would recommend that you start the hike there to avoid any trouble, although it will add at least another hour to the overall trail time. Now that is the ridge where we're going and where the hike gets its name from the Stegosaurus Ridge. It's obviously resembles the back of the aforementioned dinosaur. Oh, getting a bit higher. But, uh, I don't really like walking through this kind of long grass here. It makes me nervous. Especially when you hear a big rustling sound just, just off to the side because uh, Taiwan does have quite a few nasty serpents. They're talking about snakes. I have a South African friend who's lived in Taiwan for a very long time and he actually had a close encounter with uh, Taiwan's second most venomous snake, the uh, Habu, or in Chinese I think it's called the Gui Ke Hua. He got bitten down on the coast behind me as he was walking uh, to the beach I think in the evening and uh, he ended up having to spend about seven to ten days in hospital and almost lost his leg as a result so uh, Taiwan snakes are not to be taken lightly this coast of Taiwan is so lush it's absolutely beautiful it's a really nice hike, but it's really hot. Even though it's not even sunny today, there's cloud cover, but it's still really hot. But We're just under the ridge line, and uh, it's getting pretty tough. I might need both hands for this section, so I'm gonna have to put the old camera away for a little while. This is how far we've come. Yeah, in the middle of the undergrowth, David Bellamy. Uh, spent, just spent about 15 minutes on the wrong path, trying to climb up this cliff face uh, to get onto the ridge, which is just up behind me. 
um, and kind of realized after a while that there was no way up there so I doubled back and uh, actually I had a look on the internet now this is the crossroads and uh, you can go left you can go straight on but we actually need to go right where all these um, climbing club tags are and uh, the path leads up there and just behind those bushes you can see the beginning of the ridge you can see all the way along the coast to the Beto lighthouse absolutely beautiful Stegosaurus Ridge baby now I just saw a tiger headed wasp about 10 meters down that way and uh, believe you and me if you've ever seen one of those things about as big as your thumb angry looking hornets and uh, a few stings off those and your history so I didn't stick around to take a picture of him
believe how hard this hike is. Oh my gosh. Seriously, we've only done 560 meters gain of altitude in three hours. And the distance is only reading 2.14 kilometers. But it feels more like we've done about 10. But um, the reason it's so difficult is um, that every step is either fighting your way through like thick trees and bushes and tall grass, sharp spiky trees, digging into your legs. I got the zip trousers. I took the bottoms off because I was so hot and now my legs have been scratched and scraped to hell. And then when you're not fighting your way through the undergrowth, you're scrambling over rocks and it's that steep. You're having to like crawl on all fours, which is why I haven't been filming too much, apart from with my uh, chest cam. But uh, oh, the, the views are absolutely amazing, but it's really hard work. You really have to earn them. Uh, I'm almost at the top now. There's one more ridge. It's probably another, I don't know, 100 meters gain in altitude. It's really tough. Okay, so we're almost at the top of the ridge. That's the top, I believe. And then, got to follow that one across and down to this peak here, which is Teapot Mountain. And then down again to the town in the background there on the ridge. And uh, that's the uh, final point. Quite thankful that some uh, quite thick cloud came over. Made it. Uh, top of the ridge is just there behind my head. And uh, then it's all downhill, thank God. Been going for about just over four hours. Clouds come in a bit and uh, it's actually raining a little bit. Uh, the view's pretty good though. There's Teapot Mountain down there in the center of your screen and there's some more people here but they climb from the other side which is a bit easier. On the way down uh, I didn't stay at the summit very long because um, unfortunately there was a storm developing out at sea and there was lightning and it wasn't too far away so I didn't want to stay up there and but uh oh, almost got a broken ankle then right so uh just finished the trek and um, there's the, the highest ridge in the background and unfortunately I'm basically headed for the nearest trail down which has brought me out here which is not where I wanted to go but um, I don't feel like trekking all the way back over there now I'm absolutely exhausted I've been going about four and a half hours and now I just want to walk down into town and get a drink now you know why it gets the name Teapot Mountain because it's got a spout. Oh. 
I um, have made it down back to civilization. I'm in the uh, gold mining museum and it's been almost like an hour and a half since I had a drink. My throat is drier than Gandhi sandal. So, cheers. Um, things I've learned about this hike is it's not easy if you're a beginner I wouldn't even consider it you need to be an experienced hiker you need long pants because there's a lot of grass long grass and sharp branches that stick out all the way along and uh, one thing I didn't do was take enough water. I took 1.5 litres. I probably could have done with 2.5 litres, but obviously today's super hot. It's about 40 degrees. There is no shelter on the ridge at all, bar a few overhanging rocks and a, few, a couple of trees. So you need to protect yourself from the sun because even if it's cloudy in Taiwan in summer, the UV is strong, you'll still get burnt. So you need to either slap on a lot of sun cream, get yourself a nice hat, arm covers, just cover yourself up. It makes you hot, but it's better to be a bit sweaty than really badly sunburned. I know from experience. Um, what else? Yeah, you need to bring some food with you because I'm pretty fast and it took me four, four and a half hours. So if you're a moderate hiker, it's gonna take you maybe six hours. So you'll need something to eat and uh, most importantly take a camera because the views are amazing i hope that's reflected in my footage but honestly the climbing was so difficult that i didn't get the camera out as often as i would have liked and because i was on my own couldn't do much filming of myself climbing so that's a shame but i hope what you see will encourage you to come and try this hike if you think you're up for it and that is very important okay so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you'd like more hiking stuff then check out the channel and uh, subscribe and if you're really keen or psychotic whichever one then click for notifications get the bell on okay thank you and uh, over and out <laughs>